imana ibishatse kandi bivuze nange ndayemereye but i said since it's god speaking to me then i have to be receptive to his word so I attend the wedding. Everything went smoothly as planned. We left there a little bit late. I wasn't able to prepare because I was extremely exhausted. And I honestly pray to God and say, God, I know that you use me as you see fit. I know that you cannot just send me. So what you speak to me is what I will say. You know that you are special people. Coming before you without any proper preparation. It is such foolishness. However, coming before you, having spoken with God, the foolishness turns into wisdom. Because every good and proper wisdom is from the Lord. When he speaks, he'll use absolutely everybody. If he sends, you will go. In spite of whoever he sends you to, you will boldly go. So I obeyed the voice of God that called me. I obeyed he who called me and equipped me. And what he told me to say, I shall say. And it's absolutely possible that I have been sent to you. So I'm very thankful for the abundance grace. So when God has thoroughly thought about you, it is grace upon grace. And you say, God, why have you chosen me? But being instrumental into the kingdom of God is great. So I slept. For I was absolutely exhausted. I said, God, you just find the way because I'm extremely tired. I'm not able to prepare anything. Speak to me, oh God. So the message was given to me very early in the morning. So the message is given to me is the one that I'm delivering to you today. May the peace, may the God of peace give you a blessing. When I speak, don't just look at me. I could, uh, maybe I'm not eloquent, but God's word is enough all by itself. The words I speak are not mine. Viana will escort them with power, wonders, and miracles. And he and the people that he sent me to, the world will have power and influence Because God is enough all by himself. God is powerful. He has authority. He speaks to, whom, to whoever he is pleased. And his plan will surely come to pass. Because nobody can stop him. He's unstoppable. Mighty hands clap to the Lord once more. So let us first read these words, then I will tell you what the Lord has put on my heart. So we've been uh, praying, the moderator mentioned it a little bit. We had 21 days of praying and fasting, uh, praying to God. This is the 24th day praying. 21 days are absolutely over. We've been praying. So it means it's three days after because we had 21 days praying. So while he was... While he was saying that, I was reminded in the book of Daniel. I, rem I remembered on the 24th day while Daniel was praying. 
I remember that the archangel is the one who came and fought fiercely. So that everything they had been praying for would come into existence. So so that the servant of God will be rescued and know that God has answered. Therefore, today, know that the Lord has sent you. So he, uh, he had a recap in this book of Ezra. I'm not going to say it once more, but I just want us to read a little bit. Ezra chapter 8, verse 21 to 23. Maze. Negekera kwiriza ubusa aho ngaho kuri uwo mugezi ahavu kugira ngo twicishe bugufi imbere y'Imana yacu ngo tuyoboze inziri dutunganiye twebwe n'abana bacu bato n'ibintu byacu byose kuko nagize isoni zo gusaba umwami umutwe w'ingabo z'abasirikare niza bagendera ku mafarashi ngo badutabare ku babisha bacu bari mu nzira kuko twandi kwavuganye n'umwami tuti Amaho boko yima na ya chu, alikuwa isha kabose mwa wajirire nezi. Aliki mbara gaza ya nubura karibgayo, biruguwa nyabayire kabose. Nuko tuku irizu usa, dusabima na ya chu, tu yinginga, yemira kutkumbira. Amen. Amen. Ezra, Ezra 8, 21 to 23. Then I proclaimed the first at the river Hava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him the right way for us and our little ones and all our possessions. For I was ashamed to request the king and escort soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road because we had spoken to the king saying, the hand of our God is upon all those all those for good who seek him, but his power and his wrath against all those who forsake him. Amen. 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 Hanyuma turaganira ku magambo avuga ngo inyungu zizanwa no kugendana n'Imana. Our theme today is the privilege brought by walking with God. Hanyuma message ndaza kuyibabwira n'ubundi sindayibabwira. And I will tell you the core message. Ariko naya magambo ngiye kuvugana nawe harimo message. But these words I'm about to speak with you there is a message underlying that. So we read these words and we learned them thoroughly. Different servant of God came before us. They exhaustively spoke about this. So uh, they fasted asking for divine guidance. What does that mean? I might ask where is the way to Rienzi and I could ask somebody to guide me. Probably he could tell me you go through Nyabugogo and you continue as you head to Gitarama. That's the way. But what, does, what did it mean in this context? Contextually, in this word, that's not what they were saying. They fasted asking God to go with them. Here, Ezra was with the people of God, people from the captivity from Babylon, wanting to go to Jerusalem. But if you know it well, the Israelites had a lot of enemies, so to speak. All the ways were full of obstacles, hurdles, and enemies. And the journey was extremely long. So if you read in the book, in the commentaries, you'll see that it was more than three months. That journey was a, such a difficult journey. 
It was expected for them to face a lot of obstacles and challenges. Which is why they knelt and prayed because they knew how mighty God was. And, and they, they certainly understood the power of God who called them. And they said we cannot be peaceful in this land so we were, we were supposed to ask for the troops and the horsemen since we had favor, we had found favor with the king. However, this will be disgracing and destroying the reputation of our God. For because we spoke well of our God. We say that he's mighty. And we say that his mighty hands are upon his children to rescue and protect them. And we say that his anger and wrath are against those who hate him. And uh, uh, God's enemies are also our enemies, so to speak. Therefore, we cannot change our mind. We would be disgracing the name of the Lord. So there are certain things that we leave so that our God will not be despised. So that the words that we uttered will not condemn us. So we stand firm. So we, yes, we, we, stand, we stop, but we are patient. So that God will be made manifest later on. For the Lord God surely he will fight for the righteous. So the word of God said that God had their plead and had they answer their prayers. Briefly, they went with God. God escorted them. And they made it peacefully. While we were praying, we wanted, we were seeking divine guidance to go with us in this year. To escort us. And protect everything of us, including our little ones, our plans. Till the journey that we started in this year, we shall be with God throughout. So uh, when we are with God, we can make it peacefully. So with God, we can complete this year peacefully. Why do we seek God? Money will not, able make, will not escort you and enable you to make it. No soldiers or troops will help you to make it in this year. No families, no great people would help you to make it. However, however, God will help you and see you through the journey and will absolutely help you to, to complete this year. His king over season the times. He absolutely knows the enemies along the way. And he knows the right weapons to use, so to speak. He has tactics, techniques to fight against your enemies. But you yourself cannot make it. Because we, are not, we don't know about the future. But God is absolutely aware of the future. Because he knows the past. We know the past and the present. But only God can tell the future. The future lies in the hands of the Lord. 
plan. That's why people die and are buried with plans. They have their plans. However, when they go to the cemetery, everything is buried alongside them. But while you're still living, when God is still fighting for you, so we are absolutely sure that God is still at work. That's why we go to God and pray to him. Because he's omnipotent. Because God hears our prayers. And he's the only one who can escort us. It is absolutely possible God. In all times and seasons. During the cold time. During the hard time. During poverty. And during wealth. Because people fail in all, all seasons. The power of God, therefore, enables us to live in every situation and come out victorious. We obey God while, while poor. We obey God even when we are rich. But it's much sweeter to obey God when it's If those who have health. People God gave wealth. Woe unto you if God gave you wealth and richness, but you don't use it for his kingdom. Nothing sweeter as being wealth and have eternal life. Oh, ha I wish it could happen to you. I pray you obey God. But because God is omnipotent and he's pleased to give us his kingdom, he will absolutely give us everything good when we are in Do not be dismayed. We have a God. Why do we ask God to work with us? Normally, it is because of the fear of the future. And we cannot blame you. Life ahead is troubling. And you cannot fathom this because you cannot understand it. It is countless times we tell people to go with us. Because when you are with somebody, you feel secure and security. If a parent is escorting you, you absolutely feel good. I've been saying this, talking about children. So here there are people who don't know about village. People who, people who grew up in the village lift up your hand if you are in the village at some point. There, so there was a place that would be a little farther to the room where we sleep. Have you all remembered and you cannot send somebody for you on your behalf? It behooved you to go for yourself. And that little building it would be a little farther from your house. Mostly. So whenever you would want to go to that house during the night, women or children would wake the husbands or the men to escort them. Don't you know that? Because they were terrified what they would encounter along the way. So you would feel secure because somebody would do escorting you. So you would leave and somebody would. So then you would stay there and get, she would get in and then you wait. Normally, men would not request 
uh, women to escort them. Not because they're not afraid or terrified. But they did not want to be laughed at by their spouses. Normally, men, they are known to be strong. So they would, they would stand firm. They would open and go to that place. So the wife wouldn't know that they were afraid. Uh, because of the respect and the dignity. So, but others, women and children would work their husband to escort them to the latrine. That's why the word of God calls us weak vessels. In all ways possible. Even the wish of a woman would be upon the husband. There is a way it is orchestrated that a woman expects everything from a man. Or what you cannot do, you would think the husband is much more ready to do that, Since they are the one who are created first. So we came a little later, but we are created in a better Sometimes you're also stronger than men at some point. So let's clap for ourselves as women because we are strong. So are those the claps of the ah, women? So we are also special in some ways. But we are also strong somehow. But when it comes to fear, we are fearful. We have to accept. Let's face the facts. I remember sometimes when, when Bishop is not home and then yes the house is closed so even uh, downstairs there are children but when something knocks and I would feel a little bit scared because even the whole place was closed so when my husband is around, I sleep peacefully. I don't think of anything, anything at all. So that implies that my husband is my protection. So there is a way it's, it's done. So where do men sleep? So men are supposed to sleep at the front. It's at the front. Men are at, at the front of the bed. Right at the front of the bed, that's where men sleep. So everything evil that comes first will start from the husband. That's how God orchestrated that. So because if you try to sleep anywhere else, you feel uncomfortable. Am I lying, man? If you sleep in the wrong position, you would feel uncomfortable. So there is a way God created our ribs. So one rib is facing here, the other one is facing here. So Hallelujah. So we cannot change the order. It's like that. So I said that even men also are scared at some point. Yes, some men are, are fearful. So there is a certain story that I heard of a man who was absolutely scared, was fearful. So this, this man would do contrary to what usually men do. So whenever he would want to go to the washroom, she would wake up the, the, the wife, escort me, wake up. She would work the, 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 he would work the wife, escort me. At some point, the, the woman was fed up. He said, this man mm -mm, is not good. This man who is more afraid than I. So one day, I'll, I'll, I'll show him. I'll show him. 
So one day they went out together. So uh, she, uh, she uh, awoke the, the husband. And the, the, the woman was determined to punish the man. So because of your fear, see, so you will not fight for me. What kind of a man are you? So we mentioned that earlier, and the, the, the husband went to the latrine. So and then the wife went back to the house and closed. She closed. Upon closing, the husband came. So when he tried to touch the door, it was securely closed. He shouted, the beast is coming. The wife said, let it eat you. You are useless. So the beast is coming. Something is... Let it, let it finish you off. You are useless. So, but somebody told me something right after the, 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 the finish of this first service. So, the man climbed up in the tree and the beast did can because of fear was trembling so he jumped and fell upon the beast that was chasing him. And the beast carried him and took him to the, to the palace. So others thought that he willingly rode on the beast. It was fear. It was fear that put him on the on the beast. So, but people would see him in the city. People who saw him, they had no idea. They clapped for him and said, Oh, this man is great. Riding on this beast, he's great. So when he saw that everyone was applauding for him that he's great, he said, I must shake off the fear. So now the fear is over. So, to, so briefly, the woman made him strong. The fear, immediately the fear vanished. It didn't happen again. He didn't the so the beast took away all the fear he had. Normally, men shouldn't be such fearful. Men should be bold. So you, men should be bold, so to speak. Ah, do some Let's read in the book of Genesis. Genesis 28, 20. 21. 21. Oh, yeah. 20. Yakobo ahigumu higwati. Ahiga umuhigo ati imana ni ibana nanje. Ikandi ndira mururu jendo njenda. Ikandi ndira mururu jendo njenda. Ikajimi ibyo kurja ni ibyo kwa ambara. Ikajima ibyo kurja ni ibyo kwa ambara. Nghazaga ruka kwa data mahoro. Nghazaga ruka kwa data mahoro. Uwiteka zabi mana ya anji. Uwiteka azabi mana ya anji. Niri buye shinze nginyingi. Rizaba inzuyimana. Kandi kubyo uzajumha byose. Kandi kubyo uzajumha byose. Sinzabura kuguha kimwe mu 10. Sinzabura kuguha kimwe mu 10. Amen. Amen. Mirongo itatu na rimwe. 31 Genesis 31. Yaba babishiraga hariya kuri tableau byajya bitworohera utarinda no gusoma bajya babisoma wenda abagira abo mu buhinga bw'ibyuma badufashe ariko wahasoma bakaba bitunganye ari mu murongo ah wakarindwi uwo munani kugira kuri 13 kandi so yagiye andiganya kandi so yagiye andiganya ahindura ibihembo byanyi 10 
ahindura ibihembo byanjye inshuro 10 ariko imana ntiyamukundiye ariko imana ntiyamukundiye kugira icyantwara kugira icyo antwara yambwira ati z'ubugondo nizo zizaba ibihembo byawe yego umukumbi wose ukabyara izubugondo ukabyara izubugondo kuko imana itamukundi yambwira ati zibihuga nizo zizaba ibihembo byawe yego umukumbi wose ukabyara ibihuga yego uko niko imana yatse so amatungo ye ikayampa amen kandi ubwo umukumbi warindaga nubu yamaso ndota mbona amapfizi ihene yimije umukumbi yego yari ibihuga nubigondo nibitobo marayika w'imana mpamagarira mu nzoza ati Yakobo ndita abantu karame arambira ati uburamasurebe amapfizi ihene yimije umukumbi yose ni ibihuga nibigondo nubugondo nibitobo kuko nabonye ibyo labana kugirira byose ndi imana yibetera ho wasigiye amavuta ku nkingi ukampiga umuhigo haguru kuve muri iki gihugu subire mu gihugu yavukiyemo amen amen reka genesis 31 from uh, from 7 to 14 it says Yet your father has cheated me and changed my wages ten times. However, God did not allow him to hurt me. If he spoke thus, the speckled shall be your wages. Then all the flock brought forth speckled. And if he spoke thus, the, stri the striped shall be your wages. Then all the flock brought forth striped. Thus God has taken away your father's livestock and, and gave, gave them to me. And it came, it came about at the time when the flock were mating that I lifted my eyes and saw in the dream. And behold, the male goats which were mating were striped, speckled, and molted. Then the angel of God said to me in the dream, Jacob. And I said, here I am. He said, lift up your eyes and see that all the male goats which are mating are striped, speckled, and molted. For I have seen all the Lebanon has been doing to you. I am God of Bethel, where you anointed a pillar, where you made a vow to me. Now arise, leave this land, return to the land of your birth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Kwa ritu chifuga, kujenda na nimana, uburjo bizana mahirgwe, uburjo bizana umujish. So we are still speaking of how working with God brings privileges and blessings. Uromva kwa bidu chizubgo wa dufitev genjo hazaza. This absolutely means that it takes away the, the fear of the future. So walking with God gives us a blessing. So when, when you walk with God, he has a responsibility to fight for you. It is total security of life. So we read the word of Jacob. When Jacob departed from his home, you know he was fearful. Because he had cheated his brother. But since he had already had the blessing, so everything was flourishing since he was blessed. And his father said, go to your uncle. And go get married from there. So just leave your brother. And his wrath will be subsided. So Jacob left. Along the way, since it was a long journey, he was exhausted. Where he slept under the bloom tree and saw the ladder and spoke to the Lord. But where we read, it says Jacob prayed to God. And he said, God, I am pleading with you. Along this journey, if you go with me and provide for me food and clothing and bless this journey and make it safely this place Bethel where I have put this stone I will return and build a sanctuary besides the blessing you give to me I shall not forget to give you and ask yourself what do you do 
regarding Christ. Those who abide by commandments and statutes Those who are protected by God, what do you do? Let's carry on. After Jacob kept going. Af, but he made a vow to, to God. God heard his prayer. He escorted him. And he made it to Laban peacefully. So I don't want to go into details, but so when he married there, his uncle was pleased with him. A couple of days later, he said, I fell for Rachel. Uh, could you please give her to me? He said, you should work for her seven years. So she served for, for him seven years. Right after seven years, so instead of Rachel, he brought Leah. So he was he cheated him. The following day, when Jacob got up, he found that it wasn't Rachel. Rather, it was Leah. It was Leah instead. But since he greatly loved Rachel, he said. Laban, what have you done? I worked for Rachel. Because he worked for And Laban said it was customary that the firstborn would be married first and then the secondborn. So you understand that all seven years were, were futile. futile. So, but because of the love he had for Rachel, so he also married, married her. Afterwards, he said, what shall you reward me? What kind of colors? So, so when they pass by the, those roads, they will keep on producing the hallelujah. Colors that hallelujah. There is a way God will do it. And you shall receive your blessing. Yes, yes, might have been many. But only one day God can change everything. God can, can overhaul everything. And everything that has been taken will be restored. Your health that the devil has taken will be restored. Your blessing will be restored. God has a way to provide and compensate. If you see it with physical eyes, you cannot believe it. The, everything that seems minute and of not importance, God works. That's why God walked uh, through those roads so that Laban could not fathom. So, but God was doing everything in favor of Jacob so that his flock would multiply. Briefly, the flock of Jacob multiplied. God visited him and told him that Laban is about to cheat you again. And God spoke, uh, God spoke unto Jacob and said, Arise and go. So you all know that. However, Laban Laban got to know that Jacob left and he pursued. So God, uh, God was with Jacob. 
God went to Laban and spoke to him in spite of him. God spoke to Laban concerning his God. He said, warning to you. You are pursuing my servant, but be careful. Do not try. Do not try. If you do anything silly, I'll kill you. Because the righteous of God because Jacob had spoken to God. Even though Laban, uh, Laban had access to him, but he said, I would have killed you. I would have killed you, but your God, your God has warned me. Let me tell you, my friend. Yes, people can hurt you. People can finish you off. It is not because they don't plot against you. They plot against you. But your God that you serve, God you prayed, He always comes through and says, My child, my chosen son is a stopper. Even though the plant, we don't live because people don't approach. If you open your eyes, you will realize that you would have died. You can find that people surrounding you do not love you. People at workplace might be plotting against you. People you work with, they laugh with you, they, but they are plotting against you. The reason why you're still living it is because God said no one no should touch you. God's hand is upon you. He covered you with his mighty hand. Whatever is against you cannot find you. It is not, you're, you're being fought against. But the Lord's hand is always upon you. And he says, this is my beloved. God has a plan upon your life. He will not die, but he shall live to witness my goodness. He will not die, but he shall live. I shall strengthen and uphold him. This is my beloved son, my oh, power will be manifested. He will be exemplary. There is nothing you can do to the righteous. Yes, we would have died. It's all of us. It's not just one person. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't you see? As we are still... If God would come and reveal everything in our hearts, Bishop would run away. If, if, God, if God was about to reveal what is in our hearts, you would run away. You would run away. You would run away. But God. God has. God has put a secret in our heart. So God always protects us. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. God's plan leads us. God keeps his promise. Nothing shall harm us until the word of God comes to pass. Though the enemy may join forces. But the 
the Lord of hosts will always prevail. So if they join hands together, God will, will, will scatter our enemies. Because Co he's omniscient. He's all God sees. And God who knows everything, omniscient. So I have come to the core message of today. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're, you're sitting next to somebody sleeping, wake up. Wake up. Wake up so that the, the, the light may shine. Hallelujah. 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 Exodus chapter 33 from uh, verses 13. Moses said, I am the Lord. Mbonukondusha uko Eh. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. clap to the Lord. Exodus. Listen to the word the Lord has given to me. He said he wants to walk with you and give you rest. That's the core message the Lord has given to me. He said so many people are burdened. You're sitting here tired. Many are tired because of life and flesh. Many are burdened by joblessness. Many are tired because of children giving them hard time. Many because of dysfunction of families. Many because of poverty. Many because of slander and rumors. You are tired. You are tired. Yet the Heavenly Father has taught me He wants to give you peace so that He may make you distinct from other nations to give you a blessing like His people. He wants you to, to separate you from other nations who never knew him who never prayed to him he, he wants to relieve you and rescue you he wants, to, he wants to give you invisible blessing he wants to give you children you've been praying for he wants to take away the poverty that troubles you he wants to give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Round of applause to, the God, to God. I myself shall go with you and give you rest. That's a promise of God. This journey you cannot make it on your own. You will see God. When you encounter difficulties, God will be by your side. When you're 
when you're sick, God will heal you to his promise. When you encounter poverty, God will come to rescue. What was dead, God is going to resurrect them. What seemed to be dead, God is about to, uh, to, to rise them. God is going to give peace uh, to his people. There are those who are tired because of life. And they themselves cannot get out. But God has come to turn things upside down. In his godliness. In his power. He said. I myself shall go with you and give you rest. He said to me from today onward. He's going to give peace to his people. He told me to pray for you. That you may find rest in Christ. Today. Things are about to change. Today. God is going to perform miracles and wonders. Today. God will be made manifest. God will heal diseases. Because he's a healer. God will rescue his people. Today God will comfort his people. God will manifest himself upon your life today. I'm not going to tarry. I'm going to do what God has said. Mighty hands clap to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe God? Are you believing? Do you believe God? Do you believe God? Hallelujah. Ah. Amen. Do you believe God? Are you believing today? Let's read the book of John, chapter 10, 10. John, chapter 10, 10. We are ending in John 10. Harand is going to go. Umujura nazanwa ni chindi. Chiretse kuiva no kuitra no kurimbura. Ariko jewe ho. Naza wano kujirango zivonu ujingo. Ndetse zivone vginshi. Amen. Nige mungje rimuiza. Mungje rimuiza pidi na amazi. Ariko rajiribi hembo. Taru mungje rimuite. Kani na matarize. Ia wonyi segari jasigi na amaga hunga. Isegari kazi fatali kazi tatanya. Kuko aru wivi hembo. Arahunga nite kunamu. Yeko. Nije mungje rimuiza. Kandi menye zanje. Izanje na zuzika menya. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Umujura ichimuza na. The mission of the thief. No kuitra kuiwa na kurimbur. Is to steal, kill and destroy. Ari kwa yesu ya jira kujira nguwa ziwa nubu jingu wa kandi bugish. But Jesus came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Kandi tara zimenya. Aka menya nukwa zimeze. And the Lord knows his sheep. Amenya amajoro zirara. He knows the nights they spain. Amenya ukwa zimeze nukwa zihumeka. He knows the state, their state. Aka zigiri ribambe. And then he has compassion on them. Aya masaha. This day. This time, right now, I want to pray with you in, as instructed by the Holy Spirit that God may give you rest. I want to ask people who are tired people who are tired People who are tired because of their body. People who are troubled with their body. People who are sick, if God is able to heal. Uh, 
uh, God has given us the authority to heal all infirmity. He's given us the authority to drive out demons. He's given us the authority to bind and unbound. When, when in a, unbound something is unbound because of the authority given to us. The word of God said, I told you, God. You are the children of the Most High. We are the sons and daughters of God and we are the co-workers. So and the word of God says, since you work with God, do not take grace for granted. We work with God. God works through us. God heals through us. Because that's how he planned it. Just raise your faith. God has decided to heal his people. Today you will find rest in Christ. Today you'll be healed of any sort of disease. Today the leprosy will go away. Touch where you feel sick. It could any kind of disease could be high blood pressure, anything troubling you, any kind of sickness. Just touch your heart. I ask you to raise your faith. Because it is possible to they that believe. And God acts upon his word. Because it is true, his word is true. We are going to pray, believe. Heavenly Father, Holy and mighty. It is you who called me Father. It is you who sent me. You spoke to me these words. I have spoken as you sent me. You've decided to heal your people. Because they are tired because of sickness. Their body are infiltrated by diseases. But you alone can change the situation. He who creates things that do not exist. He who heals and resurrects. Heal their bodies, O oh Father. Heal all kind of disease. Those with chronic headaches, heal them. Those who lack sleep, give them sleep. Those who have muscle issues. Those who have bone issues. Those who have stomach issues. The high blood pressure. The evil spirits deliver them. Heal all kinds of disease and infirmity. And you've given us the authority to heal. Right now. I declare health and life in Jesus' name. Receive healing from Christ in Jesus' name. Let them be healthy. Thank you for you've healed them, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Round of applause to the Lord. You may go in peace. Those who, those who have been cheated like Jacob. Those who have been cheated. Laban came to them and cheated them. Years and years passed and cheated. Please come forth if you've been cheated. So come forth and let us pray for you. When you're about to achieve something great, you see you are cheated. Son, you see it was almost over. Son, you, are, you, you merited it. But you see Laban has seized them and is cheating 
You see all the ways are closed. You see no way out. You work but nothing. So the life is full of trickery. So I want to pray for you if you've been cheated. Please stand where you were. All I want is you to have faith. Raise your faith. Just believe. That's not the life you're supposed to live. But Laban is always plotting against you. Stealing from you. Cheating you. But today... God is about to do something. God is about to do something. God is going to stop who is against your life. And God's plan will come to pass. Heavenly Father, glorious God, merciful God, God who has prayers, your word is indeed true and it will not be gone without fulfilling what you said to do. Let the word create. Let the word drive us enemies. Let the word bless your people. Everything. They are destiny. Let them make it to their destiny. I pray for their hands. Receive a blessing. Jesus mighty name. Let them be disgusted. The reproach of poverty to be taken away. In Jesus mighty name. The the disgrace of stagnant. Being stagnant. Right now it's over. Stagnation is over. Let them see a breath. Let their territory be extended. Let them see the world. Let their history be changed. Thank you, Father, for you've done it. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. I'm going, I'm going to pray for the people who, don't, who are childless, who don't have any children. Those who have difficult children. Those who have dysfunctional families. Because a family is where a person comes from. There must be peace and a blessing There must not be Christ. Your children will be your, your children be obedient. They will walk in the commandments and statutes of the Lord. Your household. The Lord may visit it. They that are going th through hard time. Those who have children. And those who don't have children. Who want to pray for, please stand on your feet. Because God can create. God create things. Please stand up. I'm concluding soon. Let be quick. Let be quick. Come forth, come forth, move forward. He's, he's God who create things that seem not. That's why he says in the womb of the barren and sees a great nation. Because what seems to be invisible, God is possible. What seems impossible to God is possible. He is God. He's able. Glorious God. Mighty God. God was fellowshiped with his people. God was spoken to us. God glorify your word. For what you speak is equal to your actions. Give children to those who don't have any. Father, straighten the kids who are well Give them good families. Give peace unto families. 
Give them to the labor father. So we shall see them delivering. When we see it, we shall praise you. We shall praise you alongside them to lift your name high. Thank you for you've come to the rescue. Thank you for you've done something new. Thank you for you've created. Thank you for you've removed all the obstacles. Even Sarah delivered. We thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mujende, mujana bana, mujana mahoro, go with children, go in peace. Mujana mujisha, duko meri mana yakamashi. Receive your blessing, mighty hands to the Lord. Ayo mashina yimana. Round of applause once more. Round of applause. Mwaguru ke mwesi. Let's all stand. Let's all stand and pray for our finances. We pray for the finance, yes. Because it is one that stops us from having a disgrace. Some people, sometimes people despise us without God. Yet God is the one who owns everything. The owner. And whatever he has, he bestows it to his children. But the devil is, wants to cheat us all the time. He wants to cheat us. So that people may, um, may, may, may not believe in your God. People despise us sometimes. But God changes history. He makes ways where they seem not to be ways. He blesses the works of our hands. But let us obey and live by his, his commandments and statutes. God's principles are absolutely important. They should be observed. Indeed, such person will be blessed by God. Because God is a God of principles. Let us pray. Glorious God, mighty God, God of mighty and stable God, we come before you to thank you once more. Indeed, you're great. Your God who has prayers. Everything you own, you give it to us. Because we are your sons and daughters. God provide for us this God. Give us a blessing, O God. Bless us with physical materials. And you promise to give us eternal life. But while we are still in this world, fulfill thy promise so that your name may not be displaced. Thank you for you have provided. Thank you for you have given us means. Thank you for the means and ways to do your will and to, to be financially well. And the reproach shall be taken away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. But we cannot conclude without We are giving chance to people to receive Christ, those who are not saved yet. If you want to receive Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, the, the, the king of peace. The Lord we know and we speak about. He who performs wonders and miracles. If you're there and you have not received Christ, lift up your hand and we shall praise for you. If you're all saved, amen. Because we shall praise God. Yes. But if you want to receive Christ and surrender your life to him today, please come forth. We all pass we shall receive you. We received Christ and became sons and daughters. Are you there? Do you want to receive Jesus? This is how we all came. Please come forth. Come forward. Come forward.
Come forward. Let's pray for you. So that you may become sons in daughters of God. Beautiful daughter, come forward. All of those who once received Christ, kindly, this is why we passed. And we became a great nation. Mighty hands clap to the Lord once more. This flock. Yes, they are also supposed to be called Let children of sing. God. Let us pray. Mujia gusubira maya magambo, mutimga mana ya tru. Tujimbere yawe. Do things when Uruanza. Turabanya bja. Tuabari bja hat kwa koze. Dukura mujita wachurupu. Utkwandika mujita wachubu jing. Tura kwa chiri a crystal. Gutuberum gami. No muchiza wujing of God. Uturinde muri urugendo dutangiye kandi uzadushoboze muri byose mu izina rya urugera Yesu Amen mana yacu ugira neza ngobo ubwoko bwawe buri imbere yawe turakwinginze ngo bafate ukuba kubakomeze ubashorere kandi ubabera umushorera mwiza nkuka wera azabashoboze kunesha ibyabaneshaga abarwanira intambara zitari zimwe Kandi mana umwuka wawe wera be muri bo kugira ngo azabashobaze kurangiza runo rugenda mahoro ubiyere kubarinde gusubira inyuma kandi ubaho ubugingo bwawe mwizi na rya wurgera Yesu amen mana ibaho umugisha bagiye neza yendura mu sore ababwire icyo gukora mureta mugaruka mana ya mahoro ibaho umugisha haleluya 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 dukomere imana amashyi cyane my hand claps to the lord even those uh, sitting behind, would you clap your hands for the Lord God? Let us uh, bless our Lord God because he has agreed to work with us throughout the year. And he will give us rest. Let us stretch our hands to the servant of God and bless her. Let us say blessings Amen. to her. Amen. Amen. We are coming closer to the end of the service. Amen. Let us First, we thank you that you have come in the presence of God. May God bless you. The announcement this week. Uh, the announcement this week. Amen. Uh, we do have church service every day, early in the morning from 5 a.m. Uh, from Monday to Saturday. And then on Tuesday evening from 5 p.m., we do have a church service again. And also on Wednesday, we do have a prayer and fasting day. Then on Sunday, we do have two services. One starts from 7.30 7 a.m. and uh, the second one starts from 11 a.m. This coming Sunday, we will have a Holy Communion service. Amen. Hanyuma ubuyobozi bw'itorero kandi burashishikariza abafite umuhamagaro cyangwa se abiyumva 